and go. <laughs> okay, so um, so I'm working for um. I'm trying to not to, uh, say people's names here because how embarrassing it might be for them. Okay. Not not everybody that I know wants to be known as a friend of mine. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, so so I'm just going to I'm just going to say Danny <laughs> instead of the whole rest of the name. And I was working for Danny, right? Okay. And so we're living in. Um, okay. I'm sleeping on the floor in his house. How come on the floor? Well, because it's a one-bedroom house. Oh. And it's in um, this little canyon in Coanga. I think it's called Coanga Canyon. <coughs> anyway, the back side of his house is on the other side of the gulch there. And you get to it by going on a road that goes around, you know, a little U-shaped road. And there's some people over there. We, and of course Danny doesn't know him because he doesn't go and visit people like that and, and they're over there making noise all the time and of course this has piqued my interest to no degree and the noise they make surprisingly enough is coming out of a tenor sax mm -hmm. there's a guy that keeps stepping out on their balcony and doing little riffs and stuff and he's the only one that does this I mean but there's sometimes there are two or three people and he's out there playing the sax so I thought well you know I got nothing to do all day long and I'm, I'm running out of stuff so um, I went working hard, huh? Oh yeah, working hard for Danny. We do one show a week, <laughs> but and the rest of the time we just sitting around in the Hollywood Hills doing nothing. Well, yeah, it was Hollywood Hills. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> so I walk over to this guy's house, and I just walk up and knock on the door, and sure enough, here comes this guy. It looks like he has not seen the. The, the the sunlight of day in months. He actually looks like he's been locked up. <laughs> and he's got the big, you know, dark circles and, hey man, how you doing? So, um, he invited me right in. <laughs> you know, very cordial. As it turns out, he, his name is Billy. Uh, Billy Schwartz, I'm going to use his whole name. And he was, uh, he had the practice house and he was sort of like the, the practice keyboard player for Little Feet. Right on. So, and now, at the time, I I guess I, I just didn't know who Little Feet were. I mean, <laughs> certainly I didn't. I wasn't a, a fan of theirs, but I really liked Billy. Mm -hmm. And he had a great. He had a baby grand piano in his living room, Whoa. all these guitars and stuff, and it was cool. So uh, so I made it. I started making the habit of hanging out over there. Oh yeah, did I mention? Mm -hmm. Billy also seemed to be more than just a musician for the band. He was how do you say? A provider. Okay. You know that's polite, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, provider. So, um, <clears throat> I happened to notice that you know I was went over one day and knocked on the door, and Billy comes and lets me in, and there's this guy standing there talking to him, and and, and this guy has a he's got an accent and he's got curly uh, wavy black hair, and uh, Billy said, um, uh, Larry, this is Gabor. And and I, I you know I went Gabor he said yeah Gabor Zabo okay all right and I just I go on in sit down thinking well I just met Gabor Zabo and he had his guitar there with him and he was over to see Billy you know they 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 did all kinds of stuff together music uh, they they would sit around and practice but again he I think he and Billy had a relationship that went beyond just music. And, and not into an area we want to go into. But so, so I, this is just a short story about me being in the Holly Weird Hills and uh, driven to um, uh, to uh, boredom. I uh, happened to meet and uh, through Billy Schwartz, I ended up meeting guitar builders, um, other musicians. I mean, he, he his house was just a beehive of musicians coming and going all the time. I mean, he he was really a fun kingpin in that neighborhood and he then learned he became a friend of Harry's and they kind of hooked up too so that's the Hollywood Hills <laughs>